Neil Ford is a great author and a software engineer who writes several books. And based on those books, he shared several knowledge and experience on those books. Today, I will cover, I will talk about four amazing books by Neil Ford where you, a software engineer and architect, should read and pay attention to become more effective and more productive in your production life. Hello, hello everyone. My name is Otavio Santana and welcome to my YouTube channel. The channel that can help you to become more effective and productive as an ultimate sophisticated software engineer. So if you enjoy the content, if you want to know more about around soft architecture, NoSQL, soft design, and so on, give the like, subscribe to the channel. Before I start, it's important to highlight that New Ford did not write it alone. Each book has a couple of authors who helped on those amazing and great products that we can learn, can share the, to share the knowledge, and be more effective in our career, especially because we don't need to do the same mistake twice because he and they explained to us uh, how to be more effective if we don't do those mistakes. Let's start with the first one, the Building Evolutionary Architecture. Uh, this one here is great, especially because, let's face it, it's impossible to see the future. It's impossible to imagine the future. The main, go main goal of this book is to uh, understand and make the, the, the architecture prepare to move and be more flexible with the time. Okay, It's hard to stay with the plan the whole time. The whole chains. Why not this, the product? Why not the software architecture? That's why Agile was born, right? To be more flexible, to be more adaptive in the real world. So, Building Evolutionary Architecture is a great book to understand that. It has several uh, architecture styles. Yes, the world of software architecture is bigger than microservice. The second one here is the fundamental of software architecture. This one here, I usually recommend to who is starting in soft architecture, especially because it brings several concepts and ideas and the true laws around soft architecture that I enjoy a lot. The first one here is everything has a trade-off, therefore there is no perfect world. We need to take need to think around the good, the pro and cons against any decision that you're gonna take. And the why is more important than the how. If I am achieving the result, it doesn't matter if I'm gonna use Java, Golang, Node.js, and so on. It's a common mistake that we do, even senior engineers do. We learned some new technology from some conference, some videos and something like that. And we are trying to find an excuse to put that in production, even when we don't have any reason. Okay, you can put our product in risk doing this kind of thing. That's why eventually happened the over engineering because we need to go to achieve the goal and also to fight against the unnecessary complexity that we put that just because we want to learn some new technology. The third one is soft architecture, the hard part. This one here is an analysis grade because it has the score between one and five where you can stand any kind of software architecture styles. Yes, the world is bigger than microservice. And the last one that I recommend for you is the soft architecture metrics. Why? To measure something, we need to measure that thing. It's the best way. Peter Drang said that, and I believe that's why we usually put metrics. For example, in our real life, oh, it's cold. The next question that you might do is, okay, the Celsius or the Fahrenheit. Okay, it's far, but how much far? How much matters, kilometers and so on. So metrics is important. It includes the soft architecture. So this book will cover the data metrics, the accelerate and so on. So 
it's a those are great books to to read to pay attention to learn to be more effective especially who wants to increase the soft architecture uh, skills that's all for today did you read these books please which one did you enjoy most my favorite one is the second I usually most to uh, when I become a mentor, I usually recommend this to start. This one so far is my favorite one, but I want to know yours. What are your thoughts around this book? Do you have another one around new forts? Please let me know, give the, the, the comment. And if you enjoy the, 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 the contents, give the like. And also, if you want to be more effective as an ultimate software engineer, subscribe on my channel. That's all for today. Bye.